The Huskies tonight will take on the UMass Lowell Riverhawks here at Go and U Extreme. Both teams are on five game winning streaks. And we're at Matthews Arena in the shadow of the Prudential Building for tonight's game, Bill. Braden Pim, first line center for Northeastern, won the draw, but puck taken away. Here's Valorani. Here's some of the highlights from that first period. Northeastern uh, playing the body well, and both teams have some chances, Bill. Yeah, great offensive opportunities on both sides. I thought Carr made the more spectacular stop because there was no one in front of him that he could, he could super non supportive on several occasions there. Here's an example of a rush down that right side. Curl and drag action. Pretty nifty wrist shot. And Rollins handled well. And Danny mentioned uh, that Chris Rawlings again tonight as he's been doing of late though, not allowing rebounds. Yeah, and he really looks gone a lot of things are going well for Chris. He looks like he's just going through the motions. And he's got a lot of confidence now as uh, here in the island pointed out. He hasn't let too many biscuits slip by him recently. Rollins will dump it in. The high speed will chase a car behind the net. It's Cornell Fisher. Pass out front. And that's a goal for the Huskies. 1-0 Northeastern. Boy, and you can credit some laborious work by Adam Reed. He's been sticking tough all night long, hanging out inside the office of Doug Carr. Sooner or later, something was bound to happen. And the freshman has made a signature stamp tonight for Northeastern. He's really played well and really set up that goal that was skewed in behind Carr. And a shot and a goal off the faceoff. Scott Wilson, sixth goal of the year. You may have heard it clang in off the goal post to the left of Chris Rawlings. That's goal was thinking home run there. Husky for the steal. Mario shot, tip, score! Two to one, Husky. Husky! And a great play by Anthony Potato all around. First, he waits and waits and waits to keep everybody on side. That was really the key to this play as it developed. And then Mario with the shot that would look like it was tipped. We'll have to wait and see, but that was Anthony Potato from start to finish. What a terrific play by the sophomore defenseman. He's really come of age and showing all his skills in one sequence. Here's a steal by Quayler, and he shoots and scores into an empty net to give Northeastern a three to one lead. Norm Bazan had pulled his goaltender. First year coach Jim Madigan arrived on the Northeastern campus in 1981. As a player, he captained some pretty good Huskies teams. This is his dream job. And you see Jerry Keek, one of his assistants to the right. And Patrick Cole, he's the other Northeastern assistant behind the bench. It really has things going, Rob. At this point, played, his troops have played a tremendous defensive game tonight. They've really scouted this team well. And they're going to go over some final nuances now. Here you saw the Eibler boarding penalty. And the Huskies are going to win the hockey game as time runs out with the puck in the northeastern zone. A complete victory for the Huskies when they silenced a lot of people who were wondering if they could come off that road trip and play well. They not only played well, they played convincingly well against a team that's a, a top five team. And that's a big victory for Jim Maddie and the staff. We'll look back at that as a pivotal point in this season, no doubt about it. So the Huskies, even their record at 500, is a happy Jim Madigan as he shakes hands with Lauren Bazan and the UMass Goal for Northeastern wins three to two and improves their record to seven seven and two. It's been a long climb back to 500, but they've done it. Yeah, it certainly has been. They've come out of nowhere to be a factor in this league. You know, in a league that where you could go from seven to two in a heartbeat. And the Huskies hockey each victory gives them ten points in the league. So temporarily, at least, Northeastern is in seventh place in hockey each with a little bit of push in there. Top four get home ice, and the top eight qualify for the playoffs. 
Huskies win it three to two. Good night from Matthews Arena.